I'm going to do comparison testing between the machine on the left here, which is a hydrogen gas generator, and on the right is a hydrogen water generator. Now what I'm doing is I'm creating hydrogen water with the hydrogen gas generator. This particular one is the SPE 270, and I'm pumping the gas into this bottle here and it's got one minute left to go so I'll let it continue and basically these two machines have been pumping water or ga hydrogen gas into the water for about 20 minutes now I also have a bottle of stored water just to see how well it stores and I'm going to test that too that was from this uh, machine on the right, the Lord's machine. So, um, let me just go ahead and turn this thing off. It's making noise in the background. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just test the newly made water from the two machines against each other. And I really prefer doing this kind of testing than any other kind. If you if you see somebody testing one machine all by itself or even myself testing one machine all by itself, it's not as valid as if you are testing two machines against each other. There's just something about the two machine thing that just makes it a more fair test. Alright, so that's water just with hydrogen pumped into it from the SVE270 and then this one is the Lord. Oh, yikes. Hold on, I poured too much. I have to get rid of some of this. Okay. Alright, so now I've got a uh, you know, I've I've got two ways of testing. One is using my hydrogen tester, and the other one, and that's uh, this one here, the uh, Trustlex. Um, but I'm just going to start out with the drops, and the, I don't particularly like the drops. <laughs> Number one, they are very messy. And you have to be really careful because the only thing that will clean this blue stuff off of your hands or the counter or anything is high hydrogen water um, and, and uh, maybe some Clorox or something so it's really hard to clean off so I have to count the drops one two three I can see it's easily clearing off these drops five six seven all right, I'm just going to do seven in each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then stir and see if we're going to add. Yeah, we can definitely add more. So that seven is medical grade. I'm just going to do one at a time after this. Eight. Okay. Nine. It's easily absorbing, so I'm not going to stir it quite yet. Ten. Ten. So what's happening is these blue drops are oxidation, and the water has antioxidants, and so the antioxidants are neutralizing the oxidation and they're still going good after 10 so let's do one more drop each 11 and still looks good so I'm going to do another draw now the, the highest it'll go for any machine any place any universe is uh, 16 <laughs> So that's, darn it, I think it's 12. 
Um, so it looks like the Lord's has topped out here at 12. And let me just see how far it will go for the SPE 270. 13. 14. Fifteen, sixteen, that's amazing. So it, it almost made it to sixteen. Sixteen would be the max. I, I think that it, if I would have well, pumped for 10 more minutes or something, it would have made it up to 16. But the point is, you don't really need 16. You don't need 15 or 14. 10 is fine. 10 is, 10 is glorious. So there's no, there's no worries about either of these machines. They're producing lots of good hydrogen in the water. Okay, so uh, please visit my website if you don't know the healthy... Um, benefits of hydrogen water. Now I have, this is a different tube, I almost hesitate to use it because then it makes it look like I'm doing a different experiment. Let me just wash one of these out. The manufacturer of this, these drops has changed the, the tube to be shorter and fatter and um, I had to clean it out with the uh, hydrogen. The only thing that really gets rid of this blue is is hydrogen. It's amazing, and um, it is very staining. Like it gets all over your hands and everything. So you have to be really careful if you're doing this. All right. So I'm going to now test this water. This is actually from the Lord's machine here. And um, I poured this, I'm going to say, two hours ago, and I stored it in this bottle. Now, the vacuum-sealed bottles are the only way to really store hydrogen water properly. Um, because the water, the hydrogen will actually literally go through the walls of any kind of plastic bottle. And the fact of this vacuum seal just keeps the air bubble out. So that's another thing. All right, so I'll stop talking and just do this. This is, all right, one, two, three, four. Seven. Let me just stir to make sure it's going to take any more than that. And it is. Like if you can get over five on these drops, you're doing really good. So I got seven. Eight. Nine. Let me just stir again. So we're getting pretty saturated when you get up to nine. Oops. Might not have made it. Didn't quite make it to nine, so it did. It it did eight fine, but when we got to nine, it just got too saturated. All right, so uh, is that as much hydrogen in after being stored as fresh poured? I think, although I have to do more testing on. I I didn't actually test the water before I put it in the bottle. So, with these drops, I'm going to tell you, the variability is great. I, I don't know 100% from test to test exactly what I'm going to get. And I haven't figured out all the variables on these drops yet. They're, they're a little crazy to try to use. One of the things with the drops is that they, they're not always coming out the same size. <laughs> it's crazy. And uh, they... Uh, you know, they're very highly subject to 
all kinds of variables. So I, I just don't. I, I am glad I could get any results on this. But it did show you something, and I was comparing two machines to each other. And that's why I say it's always most value, valid if you're doing that. If you just see one test all by itself, one person, you're not 100% sure what all the variables are. And I know there's one test out by one company who says they got 51 drops. <laughs> And uh, so, therefore, 5.5 parts per million of hydrogen, and that's impossible. You can only get 1.6 is the maximum hydrogen at our atmospheric pressure. You'd have to be in a hyperbaric chamber to get higher than that, and I don't think you could ever get up to 5.1. But what they did is that particular company was 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 filling their their container up way high, and the the um, the container's only supposed to be filled up to that line right there, six milliliters. So they they just were violating the rules of the test. I, I think they basically, um, the machine really gets one part per million, which is actually pretty good. It's 10 drops. So, I mean, it's not bad, but it, it was uh, a, not, <laughs> not a valid test. Okay, well, that's... That's the comparison between these two machines, and I'll tell you, the two machines, well, the the the, the gas uh, hydrogen gas machine is a bit more expensive, but it's not way out of range. It's not nearly as expensive as a lot of the higher priced water ionizers, and then the this Lord's machine is only inexpensive at Alkaline Water Plus you will find it very expensive at other locations. So I, I keep the prices down on things that I'm that where the where I can develop a, an import relationship with the manufacturer uh, because I'm not really interested in gouging the prices. I, I'm just interested in teaching people about hydrogen and getting the right machine to the right people all over the world because this is a very, very important subject it means all the world of difference in your health and people need to know about hydrogen and hydrogen water and one final thing uh, that I wanted to say is you can use the hydrogen gas machine over here to breathe and and basically I I have it just cut the cannula I have a cannula cut to be like a hose instead of a cannula but if I wanted to breathe it, and I have tried it many times, uh, I would just, I have a second hose that I kind of stick in, and I, I then, I then extend it, and then it, it uh, can be breathed through, you know, you just kind of put this over your head and breathe through your, breathe normally through your nose, and um, I'll tell you, um, it, it's fine, I, I like it. It's something that you have to sit still for. So, um, I, and sometimes I'm working at the computer or something. I can sit still, and even then, I I do like I do use it sometimes, but I don't personally feel quite as much difference myself. Just the various things: mental clarity, sinuses clearing out. Um, all various uh, any kind of <laughs> any kind of uh, eye, ear, nose uh, uh, what do you call it uh, congestion or anything like that just clears up with drinking the hydrogen water now you'd think that breathing it would would help your eyes, ears, nose better but honestly I'm not really sure I think drinking the hydrogen water gets into your body and your cells quicker and better. Personally, I'd love to see some tests on it with just lots and lots of people, but it's probably going to be years before we have that. But just my own personal feeling on it is the hydrogen water gets into the cells and hydrates the cells faster and better uh, than, than the gas. But if I had some kind of a condition or something like that, I would do it do both. I mean, there is no way I would only do one, uh, just only inhaling. Uh, if you have an inhaler, use the inhaler. Make hydrogen water. Oh my gosh, yeah. 
because the water is going to be a high, high, high benefit as well as breathing the gas. Okay, and that's all. Thank you.